Foul play is suspected in the disappearance of a Liberty County woman. This is after blood stains were found inside of her home. And we've been following this story here closely. And Fox 26's Gabby Hart is joining us live now from Liberty County with an update. And Gabby, what is the latest in this case? Well, I can tell you not a lot of developments as of right now. Now, yesterday we were out here. We saw cadaver dogs, search teams uh, combing this woman's property, the surrounding areas, and a body of water. We do know that those search efforts did not continue today. Uh, however, we did see deputies going door to door, looking for surveillance video, and also getting permission to go on to her neighbor's properties to search. So that way, when search efforts do resume, they won't run into any issues. 57-year-old Cheryl Siddle hasn't been seen since Tuesday, September 12th. Family reported her missing on Monday, September 18th. They became suspicious when they went to check on her, and a man now identified as 52-year-old Donald Hassler answered the door to her home and said that she went to Oklahoma to visit her sister. She thought that to be suspicious because Cheryl does not have a sister that lives in Oklahoma. She has a daughter that lives in Oklahoma. Her car and purse were left behind, and when deputies searched Cheryl's home, they found disturbing evidence. As the deputy walked into the kitchen area, he observed what he appeared to what appeared to be blood stains on the floor in the kitchen, uh, some on the cabinet, and possibly a few on the ceiling. Uh, he backed out immediately. Deputies, game wardens, and search teams came in with cadaver dogs, and they searched around her home, but they focused on the body of water that borders her property. Deputies say it appeared a boat that had been tied to a tree for months was dragged to that water. Behind the house is a small pond area. Uh, it's about four foot deep, and it's about 100 foot wide. Officials say Hassler and Cheryl were friends and had known each other for about two years. Deputies placed him under arrest for felon in possession of firearms. But once the investigation is complete, more charges could follow. Now, Hassler is being held in Liberty County Jail, and he's being held without a bond uh, as of right now. Now, we are told by the sheriff uh, that they will resume search efforts, have cadaver dogs back out here over the weekend to continue searching for this missing woman. Of course, as soon as we learn more, so will you. For now, I'm live in Liberty County. Gabby Hart, Fox 26 News.